Well, I've been down so many times, it looks up. I know that song by heart. It's Friday, baby. It's not a good Friday. It's not a joyous weekend we're looking forward to. There won't be any rest this weekend. And we can lay that right on the doorstep of the same man time after time after time. Friday, baby. This one. I salute George Floyd. If there is a God, George Floyd was welcomed into heaven by a choir of angels, while Donald Trump and, and Derek Chauvin are fixing to burn in hell, and they can't get there soon enough for my taste. I saw the little weasel, the disgusting excuse for man, the coward of our country, Captain Chloride, Captain Clorox, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure after he took his hydrochloroquine and stuck the light bulb up his ass, trotted his shit out in front of the Rose Garden today to address a hurting nation and up to speed with Donnie's usual fan. It was a pile of shit. Talked about how China and the Wuhan virus and how bad the previous president was. That's the bullshit. That's the crap. The turds that fall out of this man's mouth every time he speaks. It's nothing but vile, disgusting vomit. Come out trotting, talking about China and the, and the Wuhan virus. While a city and a nation burn. And what did you do last night, you stinking pile of crap? You tweeted out. When the looting starts, the shooting starts, you disgusting, racist, asshole, son of a bitch, offspring of orangutan. I heard your mother skirt on orangutan at the New York Zoo. And it stands to reason, that's how we got your ass. You animal, you disgusting piece of shit. Hell no, you're not going to come out and, and address a grieving nation. You're going to try to deflect and, and, and throw a little bomb over here. Let's start some shit with China. Let's blow up the earth, baby. Let's burn down the country. I'm so sick of every day coming out here and having to, having to try to get in my head the disgusting reasoning of this turd, of this vile, disgusting man and his porn star wife and his thieving little kids who steal from charities. Then we see government, our own government, state government. I saw the, the, the excuse yesterday, oh, we're digging for information, we're looking for evidence to get this dick, this disgusting man, Derek Chauvin, the killer, the murderer, trying to get the evidence. No, you know what I think? It took three days to negotiate with this filthy cop with this murderer on what we're going to charge you with, buddy. What we're going to charge you with. Because I guarantee you what the rest of the nation saw was first degree murder. Mr. Floyd laid unresponsive three minutes. Unresponsive for three minutes before this asshole took his knee off. Premeditated murder. You had seven minutes to think about what you were doing, and you chose to kill him. For you, for me, 
put our place in the video, baby. We're arrested that day. We're in jail, baby. First degree murder. This is not about the crime. This charge of third degree murder, third degree murder, manslaughter. It's not about the crime, baby. It's about the punishment. Top punishment for third degree murder is up to 25 years to include the possibility of probation. That's the deal that was made. Not a charge according to the evidence where we watched a man kill another man on purpose, slowly. Slowly. While crowds around begged, begged him to get off of him. You're killing him. I can't breathe. Meant nothing to this man. Those words echoing through the crowd meant nothing to that officer. Ex-officer shouldn't even have been an officer. Those words meant nothing to him. He continued to press. He continued to press and press. That's murder, baby. First degree premeditated murder so that the, the charge isn't about the crime baby it's about the possibility of what sentence he's gonna get because oh good god we know he's a cop so you gotta give him the benefit of a doubt what doubt there's no doubt in anybody's mind out here and then to have the man that sits at our house who represents me has come out with his vile racist bullshit. You know why? Because Donnie thinks a TV is more valuable than your stinking life. He is not interested in quelling the peace, he, uh, quelling the, the riots. He's not, he's not trying to calm people down. He's trying to empower more police, more vigilantes to shoot. He tried Twitter, Twitter shut him down again. So what did he do? He went on the U.S. government official, the U.S. government representing me with his vile racist bullshit. You disgusting piece of crap, get out of my house. Take your, your disgusting wife with you. Go back to putting pictures of her ass on, on TV. How about a photograph on the airplane there, honey? Bear me your ass. I cut no slack no more to this disgusting family, this disgusting crud, a scum that you find at the bottom of a cesspool. Even out a CNN crew is running arrested. A black CNN reporter with nobody else around. Are you shitting me? You arrested them. They're telling you we're live. We're CNN. We don't care. CNN. Oh, fake news, huh? I'm not forgetting that that asshole, our Man, our man in our house went to Minneapolis and met with the cops for Trump. I can only imagine what kind of a group of cops that is. And let me tell you something about cops, baby. Every cop that doesn't stand up and say something when he sees another cop do something is nothing but a low-life piece of scum himself. That's what we're dealing with with the other three officers. Hell yeah, kill him. I'll hold him down. The other video shows him. One on his neck, one on his spine in the middle of his back on his stomach, and one on his knees, baby. Pushing down. 
You chicken shits should not be officers of the law. You should be in the prison. You scumbags. Every law enforcement officer, every stinking one of them should stand up and say, hey, that guy shouldn't be a cop. That guy's a racist. That guy uses force too much. That guy isn't, uh, shouldn't be a cop. Where are the police officers standing up and pointing them out? Why do we have to wait until we witness them murder somebody? And it goes beyond active duty. It goes beyond re it, when McMichael sh and his little kid, his disgusting cockroach son, shot Aubrey Abrams out in Georgia. Months go by. White prosecutors had the case. They didn't do anything with it. It's time, baby. It's time. Black America has been standing up. They've been screaming it. It is time for white America to stand up and say we will not tolerate this anymore in our society. Do not leave the burden to the black man to defend himself from something he shouldn't have to. You stand up. Get your cracker ass up and scream it. I don't want to hear about the World Health Organization or China or the Wuhan virus. I want a courageous president that will come out and face the nation, not a coward, not, not a little wimp of a man who scurries and tries to plot and whines about his little Twitter account like a 15-year-old. Are you shitting me, you little Twitter bitch? Get it off. The Twitter ought to destroy your account. Facebook ought to smash your shit because you're a threat to this country. Because the president of this country is a threat to the national security. He is an American horror story. And there ain't no end to it. We gotta wait until November to throw his ass out. Do you know how much harm and damage he is gonna try to do between now and then? And after? When he gets his ass whipped, when he loses, and he screams and hollers like a little child that it was unfair, that it was rigged, and voter fraud, and I was supposed to win, wow, wow, wow. You disgusting coward. You wiveling piece of shit. No, I don't show any respect to this presidency because he shows no respect for this country. He is a, a traitor. He's worse than a traitor. He's worse than Benedict Arnold ever thought about being. Or any other dastardly villain you ever imagined or saw in a horror movie. This is real, baby. This is what these little maggots voted in. And he is inspiring them with his loot and shoot ship. He's talking to those cops for Trump. He's talking to the white nationalists. He's talking to the Klan members. He is not talking to the American people, baby. He doesn't know how to do that. To him, it's like the rest of the freaking Republicans. Everything's a bumper sticker. The flag's a bumper sticker. Let me hug the flag. We support the troop on my SUV. Kiss my ass, you fake-ass patriots. You with your Second Amendment right, your white privilege to tote an AR-15 into a state house and not have to worry about getting shot. Well, guess what? You put a 
a bunch of black men with AR-15s enter the state house, and guess what will happen? hot real across this all across this country it's burning hot and it's hot for justice justice delayed is justice denied justice negotiated is not justice third degree really that's the best you can do it's a disgrace We're looking into the other officers. Yeah, I seen them on a video this morning. You didn't see it, you idiot. Not much of an investigator, I'd say. Oh, we're thinking about it. Yeah, we already thought about it, baby. We've already seen the video. I don't give a freak what happened before that. I don't. I don't care what he did. Whichever he didn't, he didn't do anything. A group of cops. Three of them hold a man down while the other one stands there, daring anybody to step in and help, turning his back on the pleas of a dying man. Real courage there, officer. Thin blue line, my ass. Anyway, it's Friday. Are we expecting a nice, peaceful evening? I don't think so. Because the bullshit they heard yesterday and the bullshit they heard this morning sounds like the same old song and dance. Ain't gonna play this time. The outrage is too deep. The outrage is true. It's down in people's hearts. It's in their stomach. It makes them sick. To see a president act like this. To see officers of the law act like this. To see retired officers act like that. Really? It's white America that needs to stand up, baby. We need to stand up for the fellow citizens that we love. It's Friday, baby. Try to... No, don't try to relax, baby. Try to think all weekend, baby. What if it was your kid? What if it was your friend? Well, guess what? It is. They are all family. And until we recognize that, we're not going to solve this. But as I always say, and like in the McMichael case, as long as there's a cockroach, teaching his little cockroach son disgusting cockroach ways, then yeah, we're going to have this problem. And it will continue until not only black America stands up, but white America stands up, Chinese Americans stay. I don't care where you're from, if you're an American, stand up! Because that's how this shit works. I love all y'all. We'll see you on Sunday night, baby.